If you don't have enough hot water coming through your faucet, here's a little thing you can do to make it hotter if you have a delta faucet. The first thing you need to do is take off the cap in front. To do that, you're going to need something flat, like a small flat screwdriver or something similar that will help you pop the front off. Next, you'll need a Phillips screwdriver to take out that screw right in the middle. It's pretty simple, there's only one screw, so you'll just need to unscrew that all the way, and then you can just pull the handle off. Next, you'll need to get this little plastic disc off, and I used the flat screwdriver to kind of loosen it up a little bit, and then I was able to wiggle it and pull it out, just like that. Now once that disc is off, we can start making the water hotter by adjusting this little white plastic piece in the front. When you turn that piece counterclockwise, it'll go hotter, and when you turn it clockwise, it'll go colder. Now there are limits to how far you can go with it, and the limits are actually shown on the side right here. So right now I'm going to go to a little different angle so you can see the limits. So take a look at these little marks on the side. The last mark there on the top is the hottest you can go. It won't let you go any higher than that. So you'll need to line up the notch there with that top line. Now I have it set at the very hottest that it can go. And basically that's allowing you to turn the handle further. So if that triangle was closer to that little pin right there, you wouldn't be able to turn the handle as far. That triangle will stop the pin, and that's as far as you could go. So by turning this plastic piece counterclockwise, we're moving the triangle or the stop away from the pin and so that you can turn the handle all the way around and get more hot water. Now we just need to put everything back together. We just put that little gray disc on, and then we put the handle on, and of course there's only one screw that we need to screw in, so we put that in. And then we gotta put the cap on. And the cap, there's a little notch in it that goes into the notch on the handle, as you can see here. And then once you get that little cap on, you're completely done. Once you find those notches, it just fits on nice, just like that. If this video helped you, please consider subscribing to my channel. Also click the notification bell and then every time I send out a new video, you'll be the first to see it and you can save it and archive it if you need it later to do any fix it or repairs around the house. Thanks for watching.